this is Andy Aldert in this edition of In Deep. We're going to continue our Anatomy of a Solo, analyzing a slide guitar solo I played over a Jim Oblon backing track. I'm playing slide guitar in open E tuning, so the guitar is tuned. E, B, E, G sharp, B, E, so that's open E. We're going to start on the third chorus of the solo, which begins with the use of the wah-wah. All right, here's the first phrase with the wah wah pedal. So I go. So this is between the minor and the major third. So that's that bouncing off the A to the D string. 12 to 10, 12 to 12. There you go. Going back to the G string. That's A, B flat, B. So here. I'm playing thirds, so on the B chord, I played the fifth and the flat seventh up at the tenth fret. I do that twice, and then I go to the twelfth fret, and I get the four and the six. So that's a nice way to use thirds to have like a harmonized melody. And then I just come straight down. And that's so I go right from the B root note to pulling the fifth down to the fourth. Yeah. So I just kind of move back and forth. Like I did here. That's kind of a typical thing. Up to D. And then it's going to go to E. And then. So what I did there is instead of just going from D to E, I went up to the minor third, and then down to the major third. And then I turn it into a lick by doing it again. You gotta go from 15 to 10. And then all that contrary motion. Going down and going back up, like down in the B, back up in the G. That creates the phrase. Alright, here's the next chorus. that next chorus now. Here's the first phrase. So what I did there is I started went back on E. I just fret normally. So I'm going to 
slide up or just hammer. Let's get the slide. And then the open fifth and fourth string. And then I use my index finger to slide the four to two to open. And I can go open two, open. Because I have the fifth, sixth. time I did them quickly, those thirds again, from the fifth and the seventh, fourth and sixth, third and fifth. positions and mix it up 12 to 14 back to 10 the wah. And then I use that idea of playing on the higher uh, position for the E chord. So 17 to 15, 17 to 19. We get into the next chorus, and I do this music. The way I'm doing that is it's thumb sitting the G string, and the middle finger is hitting the B. And the trick of it is to get the definition after picking the G, when I go to pick the B, I block the G, and likewise then block the B again when I pick the G for the third note. And I'm using my finger as a fulcrum here. But the meaning is actually happening with the fingertips. And the cool thing about this is you can just move it around. that I stole from Jeff Beck. All right, I hope you dig it, and I'll catch you next time.